1.4 part third. Okay, third is any number. All right, any number that express in terms of root sign. So that is what what we call as third. Okay, for third, uh, we will directly move to our rules. Right, rules of third. Okay, we go to the number one. You have third A multiplied by third A. Okay, it is equal to, let's prove this one. If you have third, the same square root, or I mean the same root, okay, it is the same. This is the square root of 2, square root of 2. You can just multiply the number inside of the third. It will be A multiplied by A. So, it is third A square. Alright. So, when you have the power, alright, A square should be here. Okay, should be written here. Okay. When you have the power 2 meeting with the square root of 2, so it will cancel each other. So, it is equal to A. Okay, so that's mean when you have a number with the same root, you can just multiply the same number eh? with the same root, the value will be A. Okay, short example here, we have 7 multiply 7, same number with the square root 2, you get 7. Alright, we go to the number 2, we have set A multiply set B. Okay, as I said before, you have the same set. Okay, when you have the same uh, the same root, you can just uh, multiply the number inside. Okay, so at the end you will get it is the value of set A B. Okay, let's give a simple example. You have set seven multiplied by set sorry set four multiplied by set seven, so it is four times seven. Alright, equal to 28. Okay, let's go to the number 3. What do we have? We have in terms of division. Alright, for division, I would rather put this form first. Set, alright, set A divided by set B. Okay, so it is equal to the same root. You can just combine the number inside with the divide division operation. Okay, where well, here a and b must get equal to zero. The inside value. Okay, a b must get equal to zero. Uh, this one point a b must get equal to zero. Okay, uh, the inside number. So let's give example. You have set seven divided by set. Mm, let I change a number. Uh, no, no, Alright, set 4. So, it is equal to set 7 divided by 4. Okay. Go to the number 4. You have A set B plus C set B. Okay, when you have a question like this, uh, okay, what you can see the same, it has the same term which is set B and set B. So, at the end, you should factor set B to the outside and put A plus C inside. Okay, A plus C inside. Okay, let's go for example, you have 2 set 7 plus 3 set 7. So it is equal to set 7 with the bracket 2 plus 3. So it is equal to 5. Okay. So when you write, you want to write the final answer, please put the number in front and the set at the back. Okay. That's how we arrange our, uh, our number. Okay. Next, we go to the number 5. You have A set B minus C 
see third B. Okay, what is the difference here? It's just the operation minus. So it's just the same. You factor third B A minus C. Okay, as we learned before that, the third will be at the back. So you can all write this like this. Okay. Uh, do we need example here? Next, I change the equation 3. Third 7 minus 2 third 7. Alright, so we can uh, take out the third 7. Or you want to put it on the back. Set siap. Okay. So 3 minus 2 is 1. With the factor third 7. So at the end, our final answer will be third 7. Okay. Next one, we go to the rules. Number 6. What do we have? We have a uh, third A plus third B power of 2. Okay, so this is the expand. Okay, when you expand, it is actually come to into bracket. Okay, you can just expand fastly. Okay, you take the first term, third A power of square. And you take the second term, alright? Uh, you left on the in the middle, which is second term and square. Okay, the middle one will be the multiply of each term, which is you have to multiply with third a and third b. Okay, which is we simplify it third a square. Alright, so we can cancel. It will be A. How about this one? Set A multiply set B. It is the same root. Okay, the same root. So you can just multiply the inside number here. So it will be plus 2 maintain. Eh? It share the same root. So just multiply inside. It is AB plus B. Okay. Uh, so that's how you want to do. Okay, let's go to example. We have set 2 plus set 3 square. Okay, you take the first term. Set 2 square is automatically will be 2. Okay, if you get what I mean. Okay, from here. Okay, now uh, we can make it faster. And then you have the last term. Set 3 square. Set 3 square means you get 3. Okay. In the middle is the multiply of 2 multiply with set 2 multiply with set 3. It is it has the same root, right? So we can just multiply the inside number, which is 2 multiplied by 3 is 6. So our final answer should be 5 plus 2 third. Six. All right, that's good. Okay, are you with me? All right. Okay, let's go to the last uh, property or rules for uh, third. We have the product of third with different operation. Okay, to break it. Okay. Okay, uh, it's not the same uh, uh, from the number 6 because the number 6 has uh, the same symbol. That's why we, it became power of 2. So here we have plus and negative. Okay. So here class, uh, listen to me. You will take the, uh, we will, uh, what do we say? Uh, like a uh, normal punya expand. Okay, normal punya expand. So here, set A multiplied by set A. You will get set a square. Set A multiply with negative set B. So it will be, it has the same root, right? Set and set. So we can just, we will maintain the set there and just multiply the number inside with A, B. Okay. Next one, we go to the second term. Okay, we multiply with the term in the last bracket. We have set b multiply set a so it is set the same root so it will maintain the root will be maintained and we just multiply the number inside which is b a and minus 
because it is minus minus here right minus here we put minus here because it is the multiply of set b multiply set b the same thing means set b power of 2 okay so end up our theorem will be set a power of square we can cancel with b a okay how about this one okay guys let's look at this part is it the same a multiply b b multiply a for example 1 multiply 3 you get 3 3 multiplied by 1 you get 3 so it is the same number okay if you can look here this is good news for us good news why because negative plus means that you cancel each other it will be zero okay nothing left there and then at the end you, you have negative set b square so it is cancel each other so you have a minus b okay uh, let's I give you example for this part we have okay, I put here now uh, because we have only have space here sub 5 no why my shape is like that sorry you have uh, bracket set 5 plus set 2 multiply with set 5 I'm confusing with the number 5 Actually, I want set 5 Okay Minus set 2 Okay uh, Because we already learned the theorem here You can say that What is left actually for the properties number 7 Is just you can take the You just need to rewrite this part Okay With negative Right so you can just leave behind the middle part okay because we already proved that it will be equal to zero so you need the first part square and the and minus the second part square so if you can see the number here is the same okay number seven is only applied to the first and second number it that uh, the same number all right with the different operation of plus and minus so what is the first number? The first number is set 5. Set 5. Square. Okay. We will have minus. Why minus? Ah, the proof is here. Okay. So minus you take the second number which is set 2. Square. Okay. Ah, that is the shortcut for this part. So we know it cancel each other. It will be. 5 minus 2 so it is equal to 2 right so please alert for this one you have the shortcut here okay the number 7 here the proof is here and uh, be careful to use this one all right so please uh, stay alert with the number 1 until number 7 i understand this part better for this big part of set all right